Hey folks, Millennium Edition 56 here with you once again. Today we're here with a cooling mat. This is a generic Chinese cooling mat. I got it for $10. But you can see how immensely dusty it is. And I gotta, and I'm gonna clean it. So we're gonna do, be doing a, uh, pretty much, we're gonna take it apart and see what makes it tick. Here is the power adapter for it. It is, you know, it's a barrel type connector. So I'll connect it, show you guys that it ticks still. Here. Of course, uh, got a bunch of specs over there. But we're not here to uh, take a look at the specs. We're here to uh, grab a screwdriver and see what's inside this bad boy. So there's screws under these rubber feet. I mean, if you grab a rubber foot, it's not a very easy process, but you can get to the screw. Let's see if we can remove all these feet. Now, of course, I'm going to have to find a place for these feet because they're really not safe there. <sighs> I think at one point I wanted to take this thing apart, but never got to it. And there's also two screws under this uh, little thing for spec specifications, so I'll have to get to that. And then, there might be screws under these, I'm not sure. Oh no, they're just more rubber feet. So... All the screws are in the back here. We'll just take this notebook cooling pad thing off. Of course, it requires a lot of patience. We'll step put it aside here, like so. Think pad style. I'll go grab my screwdriver and we'll uh, open it up and see what's ticking. All right, so here it is uh, taken apart. The laptop cooling mat. One time I... There you go. Now uh, that uh, sticker has actually been covering a couple screws. But anyway, I took out a total of eight screws and six rubber feet. Which I can actually repurpose uh, two of those rubber feet. But anyway, here's a DC 5 volt rail right there. Connected to these two fans here. And look, that's how incredibly dusty they are. The real reason why I opened this was to clean it, but I'm not. I'm going to just uh, put the cover back on to do that. Because here's cheapness. Here, I'll show you the cheapness of this thing. It comes right out. It's not really supposed to come right out. Here's one of the fans. It's a generic fan, as you guys can tell. I'll go ahead, plug this in, and I'll show you that the fans do indeed work in this model. Probably saw it earlier. Of course, by how many retakes I've done, I probably don't even know. So, there's the fan in working order. As you can tell, it was meant to do this. I could actually get a rig, I could somehow get a ghetto rig this onto like a router or something to keep it cool, which I didn't know I could actually do with this thing. Now of course it only, the uh, DC port on this thing only has two inputs, as it looks, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and turn this thing off, or shut this, uh, shut this cooling fan off. And I'm gonna put this back. Now uh, the here I'm gonna show you guys. This uh, fan right here has terrible bearings or bad bearings. This one is fine. Of course, this this one's starting to also lose its bearings. That one right there has completely lost it. But yeah, that's it for the <coughs> notebook cooling. 
Thank you for watching. Feel free to leave a comment if you have one. Good boy.